Welcome back to another video guys. Today we're gonna be bringing you and showing you the best secondary options for bags when it comes to uh, your lowrider ST. Yeah, here we got some Leather Pros, and not just any Leather Pros. These are a bit more special. They're just not gonna be like the Leather Pros that you're used to seeing out there. Now, what am I talking about? Ta-da! Ta-ta-ta-ta! All Leather, Leather Pros. These are, uh, these are special, man. These are really, really, really nice. That smooth, buttery, leather, That's nice. It's, it's so soft, man. That's so soft. So we're going to go over a few things in this video. Why we got these bags for the bike. Um, when am I going to be changing them out? Why am I going to be changing them out? Why I recommend them to you guys? What's so good about these? We're, we're going to break it all down to you right now. Well, first things first, you must be saying, well, dude, your bags look so good. You know, the matching paint job. Of course, I, I love the matching paint job on the bags. Um, that's why we're not gonna put these on right now because I mean, I, I, you know, the, I just really wanna rock out with the paint job. I mean, the paint job on the bags kinda help make the bike what it is. Um, but these are gonna be put on the bike later down the road. Now, why these? Well, the other pros are different. Um, I, I wanted something that was gonna allow me to, you know, carry more stuff around on my bike. Now we got some big long trips coming up. Next month we got Laconia. Uh, that's gonna be awesome. And then the month right after that in July, we got Homecoming in Milwaukee, which I'm also gonna ride there. I'm gonna ride to both events. So now that I don't have a bagger, I am doing more longer trips. Yeah. I would not have the bags on for those rides, but I am planning on doing even longer rides uh, for next year as well. So for those long, long trips, I'm definitely gonna be putting these on. Now there's a few reasons why people end up changing these bags out because A, they don't like the way that they're like, not even in the back because one is longer than the other. Um, whatever, it doesn't really bother me. For the most part, the reason why people change them out is because they just want more space and that's where these come in. These Leather Pros fit a lot more than what these stock bags fit. Before we keep getting into that, let's just mock them up real quick for you guys, show you how it's gonna look like. One of my favorite things about this bike is just the easy accessibility to take off these bags. And yeah, right away it's like, I have a bike. And just like that, we basically got a different bike. All right, so we're just gonna sort of kind of mock them up now to show you guys how they look obviously right now they're kind of squished in and everything they'll look much better when you fill them in um but it's a great option now some of you might be asking well why should i or why would i even switch out my stock bags well once owning a lowrider sc you're gonna notice that the amount of space in those bags isn't that much at all it's a good amount of space for you to you know throw your sweatshirt in throw in a change of clothes, you know, a few things for like a weekend trip, whatever. Um, but it, you're, you're probably gonna wanna pack up a few more things. Um, that's where the Leather Pros come in. So these bags are gonna give you even more space than the bags on a bagger. Awesome thing about this is that they have a, a, an inline zipper right here, which allows a bag to kinda stretch out, um, give you much more space. Um, really easy to put on, really good looking. Some people love them, some people like them, some people just, you know, they just don't like them. Um, I ran Leather Pros on my Dyna, I ran Leather Pros on my Low Rider S, and now we're gonna be putting them on the Low Rider ST. Now, obviously we've done Leather Pros before, so we wanted something a bit more upscale, we wanted something just to elevate the bike up a little bit more. So the all leather option is really nice. And when I tell you that this leather is buttery and it's nice and it's, 
it's, it's really, really good quality. Now on the outside, you're gonna have this pocket right here. So you're able to put in whatever you want in there, you know, good amount of space. On top, you're gonna have both buttons. Then the main compartment where it zippers up or zippers open. Now you're also gonna have a pretty cool option with these bags. So just like the stock bags, you're gonna be able to lock them from the inside with this key right here, um, which is pretty neat. Also, just like the stock bags, you're gonna be able to put them on very easy, take them off within like 20 seconds, and take the bags with you. So you get to your destination, your hotel, your house, wherever it is you're at, and you wanna unload your bags, take them off, take them with you like a, like a luggage, and, and take your belongings with you. Now, due to the fact that it's so easy to take off or put on, um, you, your bike is gonna be looking different because with the bags, the bike looks a certain way. Without the bags, the bike looks a different way. And it's just super cool. Put this uh, jacket inside here real quick just to kind of fill it in a little bit more. So now right now you guys are like, well, the bag looks pretty squished or whatever. Kind of want to see how it looks full. Let's put something else in there. Okay. Now, if you want to keep filling that up and put more stuff in, then you could do so. These bags could even fit a full face helmet in it. I showed you guys when I did uh, the video on my Lowrider S, I literally put a full face helmet in there and the bags closed easily without a struggle. So that's how much space there is. You, you can't put a full face helmet on a saddlebag on a bagger. You can on these. It, they're cool. Now, if my bike would have been just all black or all gray or all red, whatever solid color there's out right now, I would have definitely just opted out and put these bags on today. But I gotta be honest, I mean, the, the paint on these bags is just great and is awesome. And I wanna keep rocking out with this for just a little longer. The good thing is that I'll be able to switch in and out whenever I want as well. Just switching out hardware here and there, but that's. I mean, it's not that bad. Huge shout out to Leather Pros, made in America. These guys have great customer service. They make a great product, great quality. I've been using them for years and I highly, highly, highly recommend them. I'll be linking down the Leather Pros down below. Also, if you guys wanna know certain parts that are on my bike right now, you wanna have these parts on your bike, then hit the affiliate links down below. Anyways, drop your thoughts in your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about the all leather leather pros uh do you like these do you not will you be updating your bikes when it comes to you switching out your bags or are you just gonna stick out with your stock bags that's gonna be it uh we have a lot of parts coming in right now and a lot of upgrades happening within the next few weeks this bike needs to be ready for laconia and we're like three and a half weeks out, maybe four. Um, and yeah, it needs to be ready before that. So there's a, a lot of content on different parts coming up. So tune in for that. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.